To do the hook lying position, you can do it without having wedges on the floor and just place your feet flat. But if you're having trouble feeling some hamstrings, it can be helpful to use a couple wedges. You're gonna line them up backwards so that the incline going or the decline going towards you. Place them hip width apart. And then place your feet on them where as you're sitting up, you can still take note of are your hips, knees, and hip sockets in line with each other. So you don't want your feet too wide outside nor too narrow inside. So use that setup before you actually lay down just to make sure you have that position. And then when you lay down, you're already there. So you can adjust as needed. But that way your knees are bent roughly 45, 90 degrees, your tailbone's on the floor, you should have a little bit of a space in your lower back before you do anything. And then that's gonna give you a lot of length through your torso, through your skull. Now, with the dumbbells, ugh, you're gonna prop them up. Press through your feet just a little bit so that you feel like your hips extend. So you're gonna feel some hamstrings, bring your butt pockets scooping them up into the back of the thighs. Your lower back's gonna be just a little bit flatter and you're gonna feel the hamstrings working to keep you there as long as you feel the heels and the whole foot pressing just a little gently into the wedges. And then that flat back contact is gonna be magnified when you press the weight away from you because as you press the dumbbells up, you're actually pressing your body down to the floor and that's what I want you to feel. So as you inhale, you're gonna keep your body pressed into the floor to lower the weights. and then press yourself down into the floor as these dumbbells go up. That's gonna ensure that you don't just straighten your elbows, but you reach through the shoulder blade so the rib cage is as heavy as the floor, on the floor as it can be. So the hamstrings are gonna help you feel that heavy contact every time that you press up. And that heavy contact is going to stay with you as you bring the arms down. Very important that when you're pressing, yes, your shoulder blades reach, but you're not going to round off the floor and crunch your middle. So that's the importance of keeping length and the setup in the beginning. So your inhale, when you come down, you should feel like air opens this up just a little bit. Maybe the weights are heavy, so if it's distracting, no worries, but that's the idea behind the setup. And then when you exhale, everything still stays very long throughout the whole motion. <sighs> 